Oh, um, this might be good to learn. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, this is probably a little bit of an odd spot to start off with, but I promise there's a reason. I want to brag. <laughs> I was able to use a log trap to kill a lawn leg, of all things. That's not the only reason we're here. We found a new machine. Aloy says that it can probably tear through a mountain. It's a behemoth. Great. It charges. Oh, fun. And overruns targets with its great bulk or uses lifting engines. Scary. To launch rocks at range. All right. Uh, crate holders will detach a cargo container. Uh, freeze canister. Okay, it's on the back. I don't have freeze arrows. Force loader disables the lifting attacks. And a power cell, I think, is on the top. Great. Well. Let's see if we can destroy this thing. Um. Honestly, not sure where to start. Probably with the crates on the side would be the smartest thing to do. Okay, so that's one side. Oh! Apparently my arrows can tear down trees, or it could tear down trees. Either way, we lost the crate on that thing. Oops. Great. Um, hey, it's a lawn leg. Fun. Good to see you here. Wasn't really planning on that. I just wanted to fight a new machine. That is a little bit scary, actually. It tear off some bits there. Oops. Right. It can tear through a mountain. I should probably not consider hiding behind the rocks to be a viable strategy in this case. How about if I get down to this side and tear off that crate too? Perfect! Alright, so now... Jeez. Oh wait, is it weak to anything in particular? No. Just drawn against that stuff. Um, how about if I do a couple more of these? And then... Will that make a difference? I actually don't know. Oh, wait, they killed me. Oh. Um, should probably pay attention to my health. Okay, so the behemoths I was fighting were all the way up here, and now it spawns me down here. Not really what I wanted to happen, but okay. So, um, I guess I failed fighting the behemoths for the first time. I probably should have gone after that campfire that was just beyond them. Would have been a smart thing to do. Anyway. Welcome back to another episode of Tomb Raider. No, not Tomb- Why did I call this Tomb Raider? Oh my gosh. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> wow, that's- I have no excuse for that. I- I haven't even played a Tomb Raider game in friggin' forever. So, uh, if you missed last episode, what is wrong with you? If you don't remember last episode, I don't know why. It was super memorable. Lots of story stuff. Today, no story stuff. There's a few things I want to do. And we're gonna do mostly just side quest kind of stuff. We're gonna go do a whole bunch of things, and there's something very special that I've been waiting for for a very long time to go out and do. And we finally have the option to do so. So, we're gonna try to get as much done today as I possibly can. And then we might end up doing story stuff next time because there's not a whole lot of quests left over that I could do. Um, hello up here. Are you. The friendly guy? I think so. Yes. Hi. I waited for you. Time passing pulls the anticipation tight as wire. Ah, oh, how many has it been now? I don't keep count, no. Don't keep count? Sometimes I just don't get you. Are you like us or a little different? Hopefully a little different. Mm, that's what you're gonna tell yourself. Shall we get started? I wonder if this is going to end in a certain way between them after we've cleared out every single bandit camp. Okay, so who do we got over there? No, there's no way I can get a good shot on him from that angle. Need to zoom in a lot more first. Yeah. Perfect. That is so much better. Okay. Somebody up there started to see me. Give me that zoom. Just want to make sure that there's not a pillar in the way. Alright, so two down and... I guess nobody noticed? 
Okay, well there's another sentry all the way off in that direction by himself, which is kind of odd. No big deal though, just kill more people when we get the chance. Thought that was somebody right behind him, but I guess not. No, there is somebody, but not the shadows that I was expecting. And he still didn't notice that guy being shot down. Where's your head? There's your head. There, your head is not. And still no one knows we're here. Are these bandits... Okay? Do they need glasses? Are there no glasses in this era? I can believe it. I would understand why, but it seems... Odd that they would be able to capture this camp and form their own bandit clan when none of them can actually see very well. Again, I'm not seeing any awareness markers or whatever they're supposed to be called. Alright, you over there. I can't tell what parts of his head. None of what I was looking at, that's for sure. What if I got that one up there? Come on. Yeah, again, no one knows we're here. I'm confused and grateful. And I can't get a beat on this guy. I can't see you. Oh, somebody's finally noticing. Where are they? All the way over there? I'm not sure who he noticed was dead, but okay. Oh, now everybody knows. Oh, and we've got three of them with big guns. Great. Um, we prefer to not. Alright, one more sentry gone. Which is healthy for me. I prefer to stay alive, if at all possible, game. None of them are heading off in this direction, though. That is so odd. Alright, well. That's right. No one here. I guess we could just get over here into this a little bit. Oh. Suddenly they've lost interest. Yeah, guys, it was just a revenge kill against uh, one person from the bandit camp. Don't worry about the rest of you. Especially not this guy who is suddenly not with you anymore. Oh, good shot, good shot. No, bad shot, bad shot. Okay. Took two arrows to kill him and still nobody noticed. Forget about traveling light. Oh yeah, I guess I'm probably starting to run low on uh, inventory space. I should consider selling some stuff off. Been a while since I've done that, actually. Uh, nobody? Okay, we got a few up there. Oh, someone's got a big gun. Should probably go for him first, and then I can have fun taking out the rest of the camp. Okay, so... He's coming up here. Come on, show me your head. Close enough! Oh, somebody else knows I'm here. Where are you? Now he doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> this is going way too smoothly. Not to jinx myself or anything, but... This is way too easy. I'm a little concerned. The scenes haven't gotten this smooth in a long time. Oh, there's someone up th Okay. It's probably inside the... Structure? I have no idea what this place used to be. There's probably a vantage point around here somewhere I should look for. And what is that over there? Oh, the alarm. Well... I need to get over to that in order to make any kind of use of it, so... Not sure if I'll be able to. Uh, we killed a guy up above. Dropped a big ol' weapon. I think it was above. Was it? Where's the big weapon? Is it up here? I'll assume it's up here. I'd like to get hold of that if I can. At least I'm pretty sure he was carrying a big weapon. Maybe... Hi. Maybe they don't carry the big weapons when they have a skull marking. Maybe that... Okay, the bandits here are definitely not healthy. That's their alarm signal. Better keep them off it. Perfect. 
Okay, there's the bonfire down there. Oh, wait, that's the alarm signal. Okay, I guess I'll go for that then. Um Bandit, you okay? Keep this quiet. He's not okay. Also, I'm glad we have Nil with us, as usual. Mostly for the commentary that we get before and after, but um We're doing this whole thing without him. Again, not complaining, but kind of odd. Or at least it feels odd. Oh, those are the... I thought there were hostages over there. There's something over there, but I think it's just an ancient debris pile. What was he doing? It seemed like he was trying to look in the well. Oh, cheery! Gladly move on from that. Ancient debris that I can... Probably easily collect and stack with everything else I've got. There really should have been more ancient debris back in the previous episode, now that I think about it. Why was there none? That seems kind of odd. Somehow I got him. Okay, and there's another one over here that, for some reason, neither of us ever saw each other. I mean, it makes sense that he's trying to look outward for threats, but, um... Everybody behind him is dead. It seems, uh, kind of important to take notice of. Now, what is that over there? Bandit Heavy. Okay, looks like the Heavy is laying down instead of carrying a weapon. I mean, maybe he is carrying a weapon, but... Whatever. We'll figure out when we get over there. Kind of feels like this is the last one left. Whoops. Okay, another one dead. Oh, yeah, well, there was! Okay, well, hmm. I'm not gonna complain, doing it all in stealth feels great. Of course, but, um, Aloy, you can stand up now. We don't need to be quiet. A little disappointed that I wouldn't be able to use that heavy weapon. I mean, obviously I could have just killed him, picked it up, and shot everybody to death, but... Still. Alright, gonna sell off a whole bunch of junk. And that's done. There goes everything that I brought in, and... Oh, hey, 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 what is this? What is this? Is this? Oh, yeah! Ancient vessel. Love it. And I just gather up a whole bunch of other stuff that uh, take up my inventory room again. Well, I'm not gonna jump back in right now because I don't think that would be very fun and uh, where where is Nil? Did he completely disappear? Yeah, this is the quest that should be active. I don't know why it's suddenly not. I'm pretty sure I activated it before the episode started and I don't know why <laughs> this is gonna sound strange. I don't know why dying would cancel my uh, quest being active. At least it seems that way. Sure, I didn't have it active before that save point, but all the same... Just seems like something that should carry over between death. These little moments are refreshing, aren't they? That could be the least creepy thing you've said to me. Oh, that glimpse of yourself in their eyes just as the cloud of death passes across them. There it is. Never mind. There it goes. Thank you. <laughs> you know, Nell, if... You get tired of bandits, there is a group called the Eclipse. That's a political situation. They're murderers, and they're raising an army of machines. That's a little more than politics. Don't hate me for being single-minded. Besides, I wouldn't bet on how long the Shadow Cards are going to last, if you're in for the kill. We've come a long way from Norland. Where have you been, Nil? I heard the roads of the Sundom were no longer safe. And thankfully, it was true. Ambushes, raiding parties, even corrupted machines. The mortal wounds just opened themselves to accept my arrows. But you knew this already. You've been walking on the edge of life and death. I can tell. Yeah. It's a long story. With many quick endings, I hope. As long as it's not hers. Goodbye, Nell. I don't want to alarm you. 
But the bandits are thinning out. Makes you wish you could kill them more than once, doesn't it? No, once is enough. You're right, of course, once is enough. When you really make it count. Okay, goodbye, Nil. <laughs> <laughs> Just all creeped out, aren't you? All right, so from here, we're going to head south. Is there a convenient... Eh, we'll go to this campfire. Okay, so there was a bit of a... Uh, interesting tip in that loading screen. It told me that I can use the warbow, the uh, corruption arrows in the warbow specifically, and it can corrupt machines from a distance, so I don't have to just use my spear. That would be pretty cool. But I don't know if I have a weapon that I want to over... not override. To get rid of in exchange for that. Dang it, we're supposed to get across that gap. Alright, we'll just go around. You know, he was saying that once is enough if you make it count. I think I probably made it count whenever I did the entire section in stealth. Sure, a few of them probably figured out, hey, there's somebody here, but none of them ever specifically saw me. That counts, right? I'm gonna say that counts. So, shoot. Well, um, this is not how I expected the day to go. Um, was I able to get that off in time? Nope, and there's another one over there. Machine sight discovered. Rock breaker, hallelujah. Where's my, I thought I heard another one over there. All right, boys. Um. If you don't mind too terribly. Shoot, no, 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 no. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? I have no clue. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to kill two rock breakers now, oh boy. Great, love it. Oh, thank you for that. Where are you? Just once right there. And another one right there. Come on now. Just survive long enough to get this arrow off. Good good enough, I suppose. Where are you going? Alright. And I can disable his ability to dig if I destroy the claws. I don't remember what I have to destroy. To, um, <laughs> sure. I don't remember what I have to destroy to disable his digging attack. It says component removed. Not the one I was hoping to remove. Hopefully that'll do something to him. Oh, hi there. Should probably take a potion. That'd, that'd be good. Did some damage. Oh, I think we've got two right on top of each other. Okay, sure. Well, if I can get, let's try fire arrows on that little, what is that thing? You need to know, fuel sack, weakness is pierce. Okay. Pierce it is then. Okay, well. No. I hit something, I guess. Probably should make a few more arrows if I'm going to be trying this out. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. Explosion is better. Okay, I kind of ran into that rock. Literally. What, what was that? I did not know that you guys could shoot fire. Okay, um... Them shooting fire, I guess, kind of save my... Oh, they're kind of... Trying to follow me. Great. Wonderful. I love it. I hate it. Go away. They'll go away when I kill them. Let's get back up on top of the rock. And this isn't the corrupted zone, right? <laughs> yeah. I think that's the one I blew up. Maybe. Probably. Where's the other one? I'm gonna do a health comparison. I don't need to kill these guys, by the way. They're just in my way, so I want to. 
Hmm. You know, this guy's... Interesting. I don't know what more I can destroy on him. Okay, come on. Let's let's get this over with if you don't mind. Hi there. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, oh my gosh, I got him down. I got him down. I got No, no, do not take this away from me. Do not take this away from me. Okay. Not the best of moments. Great. Okay, there's one down. Friggin' finally. Wait, both of them down? When did I shoot the other one? They don't hurt each other, do they? I wouldn't think so. Okay, anyway, um... That was a very long fight. I apologize for my, uh, distraction. It's way longer than I expected it to be, honestly. We have other things that I want to get done today. We're on our way to one of them right now. Let me check my map. Yeah, I think it's off uh, in this direction ish. Yeah. There it is right there. We're gonna go after another tall neck, because it's been a while. I think that there's only two or three left. Potentially. Might as well go after one of them. Okay, so where is it exactly? I think I need to stay to the right. Follow this path around. I hope I'm not wrong. Hmm, broadheads, you know. Well then, quit talking, you doofus. There's a couple of broadheads. I think I only need one. That's awesome. Let's go. Hopefully, none of your friends will notice. It'd be nice if there was a way to track um, how much time you had on the... Machines that you override. Because they won't stay overridden forever unless you get a certain perk. Where are we going? Okay, straight ahead, then take a left. This left, specifically. <laughs> Good job, boy. Good job. You know how to ride, ride, run. Oh, there's the Tomek. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Gonna crush the rabbit? Probably. But I didn't. This is a very interesting looking place. I wonder where we are. Scanning those people back there probably would have told me, but oh well. Are they gonna notice me yet? Oh, there we go. One of them noticed. Huh. This is a very machine populated area. Tall neck rust wash. Yikes. Oh, thank you for that. Um, two of them are down. One of them's an enemy. Crap. Okay. Um, can I get... Shoot. Come on, come on. Who friggin' knows? Right now, I just want to survive, if you don't mind. Thank you. Appreciate that. Only... Okay, there's two enemies. Now there's one enemy. Which I'm okay with. Oh, this one had a double machine core. Or medium, I suppose. They're only good for selling, though. Wait a second. Is that a Ravager? I was about to say I saw a tooth, but it has a gun on, the, on its head, so, you know. Probably not. Yeah, Ravager. Um, sure, we'll help out the random people. If they can hold still long enough for me to use this. Hold still, please. Hold still, please. Thank you. I get the feeling this is going to be the most uh, hostile area that we've ever had to hunt, a, uh, try to use a tall neck, whatever. You know what I mean. There's a lot of hostile machines around here. Uh, give me this. Hope you don't mind if I decide to help out you on your hunting trip. Based on the number of machines around here, I'd probably appreciate it too. Oop. Hey there. That's not- oh, hi there. Um, please don't. How much ammo I got left? Oh, I've actually got quite a bit of ammo left. There you go. Just gonna 
take you down. Shoot. Uh, tear that off. Come on now. Come on now. Right there. Yeah, that's a good boy. Oh, you're not dead yet. I figured that blast would have been enough to finish you off too. Oh, he's limping. Oh, that was cute. For a death machine. I did not know you had egg beaters on. Hi, we got it. We got enemies. <laughs> oh, you're nothing special. Come on. I mean, not to trash talk him, but you know, <laughs> it's a, it's a friggin' Strider. It's really not that special. All right, Ravager has. Lucky me. Nice, nice. There's another gun. I'm actually gonna come over here and get medicine in both senses of the word. All right. So that was fun. <laughs> Machines everywhere. Oh, that's cool. What is this, an airplane crash? What if there'd be anything inside? Probably not. Doesn't look like, oh, hey, he's coming around. Get up on the Tonic's back. Oh, that's a bellow back. There's a lot of <laughs> machines around here. I think this is the most variety we've seen anywhere else. I think I can leap onto Potomac from here. I'm glad you think so, because I was not sure at first. I was thinking, oh, it's that other spot to the left. We missed it. Nope, we, we good. We good. Okay, time to climb up to its head. Okay, on this side then. There we go. Awesome. And with all the machines around here, there's going to be quite a bit of pain whenever the uh, EMP blast goes off. This one's built a little bit different. Are you going? There you go. You can do it. All the way up? Nope, not all the way up. Fascinating. They weren't looking for me. Do you even know who you're talking about? I get a feeling you don't. Keep on going all the way around to get up on the back. Yikes. Yeah, this one is built very different compared to the others. All right. Not too terrible. Now we could rappel down. I don't want to check my quest menu. Give me the map. Show me the map. He'll give it to me eventually. Eventually. There it is. Reveal map. How much? It, it'll get there. It'll get there. Eventually it'll get there. Oh, there's another settlement over there. Oh, and quite a bit of water, too. Huh. I get the idea these islands are not worth a whole lot. Oh, yeah, I did say we were going to check out a vantage point for that bandit camp, but, uh, whoops. Interesting, there's a watcher spot over here, but otherwise, no particular machines to get that metal flower. Are we relatively close? Yeah, somewhat. I guess we could ride the tall neck around to the other side and then get off. Also, lots of great target opportunities up here. Oh, that's interesting. No idea what it is on the map. It'll probably tell me when it uh, when we get closer. I need to be careful where I stick my spear. Overriding a bell. <laughs> um. Yes. I guess. Are we gonna get close enough to tell what this thing is? I think that's Meridian over there. That's not Meridian. That's definitely a fortress, though. Okay, how far have we come? Oh, actually, quite a ways. Tallnacks are much faster than you'd think they are. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to pin this on our map, so... I think when we get close enough to those lawn legs, I'll activate the EMP, and then we'll move on foot from there. Close enough. Just ensuring that you're safe when you get all the way down. Okay. Don't step on me, please. Oh yeah, observer log. What's this one say? Oh, we've only got one tall neck left. That's awesome. Orbit initiated. No response G prime? I feel like that would be relevant for something. Oh, it didn't just knock them down. It killed them. I'm fine with that. It means that they have less health than a sawtooth, which I believe. Good find. They're rather frail machines, I suppose. 
Oh, what's that? Oh, it's the Ravager Cannon. We're all the way back to where we started. That's cool. And these Ravagers are back too. That's less cool. All right, give me, the, give me your cannon. Did not mean to shoot off a blast that quickly, but okay. Actually, this cannon over here is relatively fresh, isn't it? How about we borrow this one? Hi, guys. <laughs> Couldn't stop me, I got the cannon. Here's my cannon. Show me yours, show me yours. You're trying so hard, but not hard enough. I mean, you're doing a lot of damage, I'll give you that much, but, um... You need to do more. You didn't do more in time. Hi there. Okay. There we go, just blow off a ton of armor, and if you don't mind... I'd rather you exploded, but sure. Just gonna... Boop! There we go. Alright, now everyone's dead. <laughs> I'm going to collect a whole bunch of supplies, and then we'll move on. Oh. Oh, interesting. There's like a port village down there. It's not just a fortress of some sort. Also, that's the fortress I saw, and it's one? Whereas this is a four? I was interested in the metal flower, but now I'm kind of wondering what's over there. Yeah, I guess we'll go see what that uh, shipping fortress or whatever you want to call it is. There's so much stuff to go look at. And none of it is, um, rewarding in the sense of hidden game secrets or whatever. Does this game even have any special weapons beyond what the Lodge has for you? That's just for doing particular challenges, but I don't think there's ever really been any rewards for exploring. There's been the stuff that you can find on the map after buying a, uh, treasure map for it, like the Banuk figures, which we currently <laughs> still don't have any of. And some of the other stuff, too. Um... Oh, wow. Oh, no. We found the red light district. <laughs> um... How to get down safely? Maybe I shouldn't worry about it. This is, um... I feel like this is some place we're going to come back to on our own eventually. Although there is a campfire. Maybe I should go activate the campfire. Fine. There we go. Campfire discovered. Oh, and there's something over here I guess we can collect. What is it? Blazon Arch. It sounds cool, considering the architecture and the uh, color of the surrounding area. I completely agree. That's a good name. All right, but then there's another bonfire on top. Like, right before you go down, there's a campfire over here. And then there's another settlement of some sort beyond. So... Kestrel's Perch. That's a cool name. Hi guys, why are you hostile? Why are you why are you hostile? Shadow Strider. That's a cool name, I guess. I've got narrow and you got spears. Are you are you just gonna fall back? For some reason? I mean if you'd rather just run away, I'm okay with that, but um This is like shooting fish in a barrel. Okay, the fish are finally starting to shoot back. If you give the fish a gun, it, it's suddenly less, uh... Casual fun. Not that I support murdering animals like that, but still. Fish in a barrel is still a term. Come on, I know you're over there. Somehow he missed me. There's still quite a few of them left. I'm okay with this. Come on. Hold still. Just keep your heads above the... Whatever that is. The rocks? The barrels? They're barrels. Poke your head up. I've only got so much focus I can use. Sure, you wait until it's out. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Didn't know I was getting that low. There's somebody else who's interested, but he doesn't seem to be willing to come down. Right oh. Here, you want to poke your head? Okay, that's fine too. They're coming down. They're coming down. Do you have an arrow? You have my arrow. 
There you go. You can have that one too. They're actually really tough. It's not tough enough. I don't know why I'm killing these guys, by the way. I just walked up and said, hi, how you doing? And now suddenly they want me to die. It's not very friendly of them. And I'm completely capable of defending myself, so... If they want to try to kill me, they can try, but I'm gonna kill them instead. And also, to be fair, they did have arrows and they were shooting those arrows at me, so it's not like I could run away and stay safe, especially on a narrow bridge like that. They just have to... Everybody shoot at once on different sides, and at least one of them would be guaranteed to hit me. Gonna come in handy. I'd imagine so, considering how many health potions we've spent this episode alone. Even full health potions, it's ridiculous. This guy's running back here to get to the door and there was nothing at the door. There doesn't seem to be anything of any relative importance anywhere in here, but... We've cleaned it out, we <laughs> murdered a whole bunch of people for apparently no reason. I mean, they had a reason, but, you know, I, I didn't. Eek. Yeah, we're definitely coming back to this place at some point. This place has got to be relative to something. Okay. Well... I guess there's no other reason to be here? So... Let's get out of here. Alright, last thing we're going to do, now that we've finished up Maker's End, is come back here and speak to Rost again. Hi, Rost. I'm back. It's been a while. Elizabeth Sobek, she... couldn't have been my mother. She was an old one. She lived... ages ago. Still, there is a connection. The hatch... it thought I was her. It's... it's really strange. Somehow... Elizabeth stopped war machines from destroying the world. She couldn't save the civilization of the old ones. That was destroyed, obviously. But life... It survived. She saved life from... being devoured. I... I need to know how Elizabeth stopped the machines. If I can find the weapon she built, and use it, the Eclipse won't stand a chance. Speaking of the Eclipse, I think I had a run-in with Hades. I picked up a focus, and it was like a cloud or dark swarm of something. And its voice, it was terrible. I don't know what Hades is, or, or what it wants, but it's evil. No other way to describe it. I know where I need to go next. The Grave Horde. Sounds great, huh? Elizabeth went there to hold counsel with the war chiefs of her tribe, I guess you could say. Maybe the weapon she built. Maybe I can find it there. Well, from grave to grave hoard. Here I go. I'll uh, try to come back before long. I don't remember the name grave hoard, but. All right. Even I didn't know where we were going next, to be honest. Didn't know if we had a set destination in mind. All right, there's one last thing I'm going to do, but uh, I'm going to start wrapping the episode now. Thank Thanks, everyone, for joining me today. Come on back next time for another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. There's uh, at least one other thing that I want to try to get done. But other than that, I'm not quite sure right now what we'll be doing next. So, yeah, come on back and we'll, we'll find out together, I suppose. Also, is that? Yeah, there's a turkey. Where's, where is the thing I'm looking for around here? I think it's off in this direction. It's a little bit further away than I had anticipated, but... 
I can probably get around there. Yeah, this might hopefully lead me where I'm trying to get to anyway. This looks right. Or not. M maybe not. I'm just extending the episode a lot further than I... Thank you. I'm extending the episode a lot further than I had expected to. But it's fine. There's just one little thing I want to get. It's over here. Figures we keep on coming back to this area. I should probably get it at some point. Ending with poetry. Is that the one? Yeah, ending with poetry. Thanks everyone for joining me today. I'll see y'all next time. Take care.